Hey guys, so we just packed up the car. We're headed to Key West. Yes, today is a beautiful day. So it's a great day for a ride and... Four hours four down hours. to Key West. Fort Lauderdale, Wilton Manors it was a great time. Great food, the beaches, and you know what? Probably easier if I just show you. Okay. But please stick around until the end because we're gonna give our review of the place that we're staying. Where do I look? You look right there. Over here, okay. Because I'm like, I feel like my eyes are everywhere. <laughs> But yeah, so stick around to see our review of the of where we're staying, the Calypso Inn. Let's just say, we hope that where we're staying in Key West is better. It should be. Here we go. Alright, so our first meal in Wilton Manors was at Rosie's Bar and Grill. As you can see, it is beautifully decorated for the holidays. I got the steak cation, which is a steak salad and crispy fried onion rings, and Brian got the fish tacos with onion rings to himself. We are giving Rosie's a four rainbow rating. It was beautiful, it was lovely, we loved it. So for breakfast on Christmas morning, we went to the Floridian, classic restaurant. Look at all those old photos of the stars that have been there. Um, the menu was pretty good, uh, decent for breakfast. John got an Italian sausage wrap and I got a chicken omelet uh, with a side of sausage gravy. Both okay, uh, but of course we didn't take pictures because we're animals and we just started eating before we realized we hadn't taken pictures of it. Uh, so we're gonna give it a three and a half rainbow rating. Day, Christmas day. I'm gonna- In my mask, Christmas day. Woohoo, woohoo. We are going out to eat at a burger place called B-Square. B-Square. And literally everything on the menu I would eat. So what do you think, Bri? Pretty good day so far today? Good day so far. It's it been... actually, we got by the pool for a little. It was pretty warm. And then I broke his laptop. He broke his my laptop, my iPad. iPad. Good thing I love you. B-Squared Burger Bar. We started out with a couple drinks and some turkey meatballs. They were delicious. And to keep on our health kick here at this bar, well, lack of health kick, Brian had the chicken las olas and I had the fat boy burger complete with two grilled cheese sandwiches for the bread. Yeah. We're giving it a four rainbow rating because literally everything was delish. All right, so making some breakfast, right? Breakfast? Lunch. We're making lunch right now. We skipped breakfast, went to the gym which gyms are closed in Rhode Island. So it's been amazing to go to the gym. Um, little turkey Sammy. And then we're gonna go and get my iPad fixed. Maybe, if the Apple Store's open. Um, it looks pretty bad. RIP. I was using it this morning and I almost cut my finger. Thanks, Brian, appreciate it. Yep, no worries. And let's have a good day. After indulging on some Krispy Kreme donuts, we went to the gym to feel better about our lives, and then off to Sebastian Beach, which is the gay section of the Fort Lauderdale Beach. And we had a good time. It was a little chilly. We kicked around some sand, and we didn't go in the water, and we had a seagull just checking us out the whole time. Then off to Christmas dinner at the Cheesecake Factory, where we started off with some apps, and then I got a chicken salad, and Brian got some sweet Thai lettuce wraps. Nothing crazy. It was three rainbow rating. It was all right. It was just all right. So I'm the breakfast guy. And so our next culinary adventure was at the Courtyard Cafe right in Wilton Manors. John got the country griddle and I just went real basic. I got a buttermilk waffle with some scrambled eggs and bacon. Love the staff. They're so much fun. Um, just made you feel really at home. And we're gonna give that a four and a half rainbow rating. After a tasty breakfast, we went to the gym for a quick pump, then back into the car and off to the beach. We went to Hollover Beach. If you're going there, put Hollover Park into the GPS, it takes you to the right parking lot, and then under the tunnel and into the park. Sun's out, bun's out on this beach. Had a great time, the water was awesome and then off to Thunderbird Drive-In to watch Wonder Woman 84. 
So it's back to breakfast with Brian. We hit Java Boys right in Wilton Manor. We both got these great bagel sandwiches and the coffee was excellent. Staff was awesome too. We're giving it four and a half rainbows. Welcome to Miami. Bienvenido a Miami. For our last night in Wilton Manors, we popped over to the Infinity Lounge for a quick margarita, then off to Tulio's Taco and Tequila Bar just down the road. started out with some chips, some salsa, some guacamole. All of it was pretty great. I got a fish taco and a chicken taco. Brian got a fish taco, a pork al pastor, and a cauliflower taco. Everything was fabulous. Service was pretty good. It was a pretty busy place. It seems like people like this. We're giving it a four rainbow rating. Thanks, Tulios. <laughs> So while we are in the Fort Lauderdale area, we are staying at a place called the Calypso Inn. The Calypso. Um, previously, we've stayed at the Grand. Was it the Grand Hotel? The Grand Resort. Resort. And, and we've also stayed at Ed Lugo, which is in Wilton Manor. Um, so this is our third time back in this area, and we decided to try this Calypso Inn. So we wanted to review it in case you are looking to travel in this area. So it kind of all depends on what you're looking for. My philosophy of travel is if it isn't nicer than my house and my home, like my bed, I don't want to stay there because I, I enjoy my house. So why wouldn't I just stay there? Yes, obviously we're laying on the beach and talking about it and it's 24 degrees at home right now. But, you know, so that's kind of my philosophy of travel. And for me, I'm not sure if Calypso does that for me. Um, I'll just say, like, first impression, if you compare it to the other places that we've stayed at, it just, it's not up to the same quality or the attention to detail as, say, the Grand or Ed Lugo's. Yeah, and I've also stayed at the Pineapple Inn, I think it's called the Pineapple, which was stunning. It was a beautiful resort. Uh, and then also, I think it's, is it the Wellington or the Worthington? Some, one of those, yeah. And it's like three of the resorts. And, and even that was uh, a little more to my liking. So to describe this place a little bit more, it is pretty much in downtown Wilton Manors. It's walking distance to everything that you would need. Um, so great location. Great location. Um, there is a pool on site and it is a clothing optional resort. Um, pool's nice. Our room is called the Key West Cottage. It's the largest of the largest rooms. room it's on like the property. 370 square feet. And then you have your own private outdoor deck patio area. Okay, the one really funny, weird thing that we found in the room was behind the bed. So I go to plug one, my phone two, in. Three behind the bed. I go to plug my phone in uh, to uh, next to the nightstand. And I look and there is a plant growing out of the baseboard, like through the building, out of the baseboard. Three plants Three. doing that as you go down the baseboard. One in the corner. And so if we have to compare this place, the Calypso Inn, to the other places we've stayed at, I'd say it's at the bottom. Um, but it really, it really depends on what you're looking for when you're traveling here. I think that this place is really good for its location. It's right downtown in Wilton Manors. You yep. can walk to everything. Uh, it's definitely budget friendly. It's one of the cheaper options that you have. So we're staying at Christmas time and it's like 159 a night. And I know some of the places we've stayed at are anywhere from 200 and up. And up, so, yeah. You no, know, it does make a difference. Budget friendly, location. And if you don't really mind about amenities or, you know, little things about the room or decor and 
Yeah, I it's think for you. you. I mean, that's like, that's who this this place it's, is for. It's, so, if you've ever been to Fort Lauderdale, or the Wilton Manors, or anywhere in this area, uh, please comment below. That'd be pretty great. And give us where you've stayed, any reviews or anything. We'd love to hear it because that's a subscribe button down there. <laughs> Look I've at him. Want to say that? <laughs> I'm training him. Oh, sun's out. Guns out. Okay. We'll sun is coming out. That be it. That be it. I'm going. Bye. Bye. Thank you.